do you know how to fight fair? 2 Corinthians 10.3 The world is unprincipled. It's dog-eat-dog -dog out there. The world doesn't fight fair, but we don't live or fight our battles that way. Never have and never will. On a bright Sunday morning in Orlando, Florida, I spoke to five NFL head coaches and their wives on the topic of love and respect. I covered the crazy cycle and how a wife needs love and a husband needs respect. Then we had a short break. While I chatted with some of the coaches, one of them ex exclaimed, This is fascinating. We just got in a fight on the way here in the car on this very issue. I was saying, I need you to respect me. She was saying, I need you to love me. The irony of it all had struck him, but he was also encouraged to discover that lack of love and respect is, is the root issue of many fights. By the time the mini-seminar was over, he and his wife had some tools to deal with disagreements. They were helped by their new understanding that almost all couples argue and fight. Trouble is, most couples have never learned how to do it productively. I have counseled thousands of couples and typically the wife is highly verbal, able to shred her husband's arguments with ease. Then he finally blows and winds up stonewalling her because he doesn't know what else to do. For example, one husband reports a week ago we got into another one of our crazy cycles. She calls them discussions. I call them fights. I don't even remember what it was over. She said her piece, I got silent, she got more vocal and I continued to withdraw until I blew up and stormed out of the house. Every discussion goes that way. No wonder many couples tell me we are tired of fighting. I reply that they are, not, they are on the right track when they must, what they must try is disagreeing more agreeably or when a fight breaks out, fighting fair. In other words, they should fight like Christ followers. Not with the dog-eat-dog -dog carnal tactics Paul mentions in our key verse. True, Paul is speaking primarily of people in the Corinthian church who were employing unprincipled methods because they disagreed with him. But the same standards for fighting fair apply to believers who are trying to build a godly biblical marriage. Paul is saying that those who claim to follow Christ can argue or fight in one of two ways. In the flesh, with manipulation, anger, jealousy, sarcasm, and harshness, or fairly, with civility, courtesy, gentleness, tact, and a willingness to honor opinions different from theirs. Obviously, the civil approach calls us to depend on Christ's might and wisdom, which is Paul's point and is something we can all apply. You and your spouse may need no help with learning to argue or fight fair, but just in case, here is my suggestion. The next time you get into a husband and wife discussion, just pray in your heart, Lord, give me your understanding right now and work in me with your power. I need your help and strength. I don't want to fight according to my flesh. That gets me nowhere. Help me argue my point with love and respect. Learning to fight fair is not easy for many of us, but it's worth it. One wife testifies, it was nice to talk about what happened. It was nice to tell my husband that even though I'm mad, I still respect him as a man and a husband. I told him to let me know when I am showing disrespect so I can stop because I don't even realize that I'm doing it. When I said that, I saw something in him change. Of course, it isn't always that rosy. Some couples have to learn to agree to disagree at least some of the time. The important thing is to keep a positive attitude. I like the way one spouse puts it. We don't always agree, however, it comes out a lot more respectful and a lot more loving. Thank God that he never promised you would not disagree, argue, or even fight, but that he has given you the strength to deal with your differences in the power of his spirit. Ask him for the wisdom and humility to disagree agreeably with love and respect. The next time you disagree, argue, or fight, stop and think, am I being fair, friendly, civil, gentle, godly? Talk together about how to develop code words or phrases to use when fighting fair.